Yeah, and I would tell the uh, president, and here's what they should get: zero, nothing. They want to fund the police. Let them take that money and uh, do it, whatever the hell they want to do with it. The, the the genius who's on the city council, she seems to have great ideas. Maybe she could figure out a way to come up with it. Our police department is not keeping every member of our community safe. How many interactions do you think on a daily basis there are between Minnesota police and citizens? Do you think this genius has any idea? I wonder no, how many I'm interactions there are. What's the number? I wonder if she could put a percentage and, or define, instead of just giving us platitudes, what she means by it's not working. Right. Well, I mean, I think I would agree with her that there is a systemic problem. But the problem is the leadership, and it's the Democratic leadership, because like, as you pointed out, they've been in charge for decades. And that's the only thing that hasn't changed. As the system has proven, it just keeps getting worse. She just admitted everything that they've tried doesn't work. So it seems like you're the problem. How do you think it'll go in Minnesota with no police after what we've seen on the streets there with police? Now, given the governor doesn't know what to do with them, didn't send them in, and basically told them to retreat right. and give up the first two nights, that has nothing to do with the men and women of the police force. That has to do with the pathetic governor and the even more pathetic mayor. You know, I, well, no, New York's still got the worst governor, but I'll tell you, he's got competition a lot more than I ever thought. Yeah, it is amazing, right? He has more competition than I ever thought. It's because I, we don't get to see the, the Minneapolis or the, I should say the Minnesota uh, governor on a, on a regular basis.